Konnichiwa, my name is Jessica, and you're watching PokéCast. Today's timid first person video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game, and that is Miracle World. World. Fushigi no Kuni no IQ Mero. No idea. It just looked fun, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is a two player game with one uh, save slot. And I'm very curious to see what this one's going to be about. It's supposed to be a puzzle game. As always, 10 minutes to play the game first and play the game a version of and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer's been started and away we go. Okay, new game, memory card. What new and crazy environments will I get to enjoy this time? Okay, we have a violin and a beautiful girl. Thank you for picking this game for the PlayStation. Ko Nichiwa? Huh? You wonder what this game is about? Something else? Hello! Oh, it talks. Okay. She talks way too fast for me to understand what she's saying. I have no idea. has a pretty voice though. Well, that's nice. I love it. Her mouth continues as a talk even though she's not. Alright, I guess you're right. Let's see what they can do for us. She really likes that pose. What? <laughs> Sangola, Mr. Sangola, I think is what she said. Uh Is that Goku's voice? That almost sounds like Goku. Hmm. Okay, IQ is a championship game. Our team has to do something. Okay. That's so funny. He's started talking, then he started saying stuff. Okay, get as much points on the stage as possible. <laughs> okay, so no. Um, no idea. <clears throat> All I know is that my team has to get the highest points. That's about as much as I could understand. Get ready. Mm, I got some nice music. Me, Ichi, go. No. Nope. Oh, I'm supposed to find out 
The difference between them. Okay, this is a... Oh. Huh. Hello, Kitty. You're not in this picture. Oh, I see it. Huh. Ah, I was too slow. And now it's starting to slow down. Ah, that's not fair! Next game. Wow, that was really difficult. I've never done any, uh... Following the difference puzzle with an actual, uh... Thing. Huh. The video, that is, that's a lot harder. Okay, next game is... Next game is going to be something different. Let's see what type of puzzle game they'll have me do this time. Is it going to be the same thing? Oh, no, no, it's something different. Start though. What? Question. Nope. Okay, question three. This answer. Nope, I guess not. Question four. Um, that. No. Nice. Wait, what? Yeah, that's Goku's voice. That's amazing. Nope. Question nine. Question ten. True or false? False. No, nope, that one's true. That is so weird. Of anything, let's get the actress who plays Goku. I'll have to get to 200 points and able to beat him. I didn't think that's going to happen. So we've had a uh, find a difference. We've had trivia. Wow. Oh, I'm supposed to guess what it's supposed to say. So, ka? Ni? Nope. I don't know. This is not fair. Now I'm guessing what it's supposed to say. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Okay, so we had... Guess the word now. That was the last one. Uh oh what's happening now? One. What is going on?
<laughs> I have no idea what just happened. There goes a the timer. I... What? I'm puzzled. Oh, I get it. I get it now. We watched a movie, then we have to get questions on it. Okay. This is so bizarre. We have multiple different types of puzzle games on here, including trivia. And uh, the weirdest thing of all, of course, is that we have Goku's voice actress providing the voice in here on certain characters. I love that. Huh. Um, definitely different, though this one is more on the uh, language side. So it's important to know your Japanese to be able to even play this one, in my opinion. So... Oh. Oh, must have been a question about who's on the other side. Hmm. But, uh... It's a cool idea. I mean, the whole, uh, find the difference with a video. I've never done anything like that. So that was actually pretty cool that, uh... They had that. Really excited about that. And really adds so much more to it, which makes it so hard. But uh, I'm really enjoying what they did with this because it's a good, an awesome concept. However, due to a lot of the questions are uh, going to be uh, trivia and stuff like that, it makes it harder to actually do the game instead of it being practical puzzles. So, yeah, it definitely makes it harder. Does that mean I hate it? Of course not. I love it that it's still something different and fun to do. I guess the best question for this video would be, what do you always, do you always like um, tr puzzle games that include trivia and I like this, uh, it's random of what we get to do in the game? And if so, if there's a game that you can think of that matches this, what would be your favorite game? I love it. I always enjoy games that go out of the way to um, do something like this because I don't know what's going to happen next and uh, it's just it's so much fun because of the bizarreness you get to experience while things move forward in the game I think it's a great idea and I think it would have been a fun one to come over to the United States you know Something like this, because of it being so unique. When it comes to games that uh, you literally have no idea what you're doing next. <clears throat> I have... S if we're going along that type of thing, I would have to say Warriors Wear would be my favorite due to the fact that you really don't get to choose what you do. And every single time, it's something completely and utterly different new and good luck you might fail. I think that's someone I'll go with because of the only thing you know for a fact is that it will be themed around whatever theme those characters are portraying. Other than that, it could be anything from where you have to pick your nose, cut a booger in half to help a girl smile because she's crying, um, jumping over hurdles, weird NES games, whatever. You know, and I, I really enjoy the randomness that we can get because it's kind of what makes the game fun. And even for PlayStation, I think it's like, uh, bushy, bushy, uh, I can't, I can't even think of the rest of the name, but there, I have two games for the, uh, for the PlayStation one that, I can, that come to my mind and they are completely random what you have to do in the games are difficult like in one of them you uh in one of the mini games you are a drunk uh two drunk friends trying to walk straight <laughs> down the street without running into anything 
not easy at all. The other one would be you have to run and somehow jump off a cliff with a glider and glide as far as you can. They're so bizarre, so much fun, but you just you never know what you're going to get next at times. So I always find these quite entertaining, especially when you're doing with friends because of the randomness that will happen and everybody having to try and think quick on their feet. So yeah, I, I personally love them. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys uh, think about those type of style of games and what are some of your favorites. As always, thank you for watching this Tisa Kurosane channel and sayonara.